Welcome to this tutorial of SPSS and in this tutorial we are going to show you how to conduct one-way ANOVA test and we will also interpret the test result. You will find another one-way ANOVA test video on this channel and that video is with different data set and also with different criteria. So watching both of the videos will increase your level of understanding about the test and the test result. So, when can a researcher conduct one-way ANOVA test? The answer is that the researcher must have in his dataset at least one categorical variable, which is actually the independent variable, and also there should be at least one continuous variable, which is actually the dependent variable. And also the categorical variable must have at least three independent groups or categories under it. This scenario is just like my data set here. I have collected IQS scores of the of 15 different people and these 15 different people they are actually divided into three groups. These three groups are independent and these three groups are um, children's group, women's group and the men's group. I have defined the children's group as 5, the women's group is defined as 6, and the men's group is defined as 7. Here the categorical variable is age type or human type and the continuous variable is the IQS score. And uh, also the categorical variable or human type is our independent variable here and the IQ score is the dependent variable. Now I want to know um, whether the mean IQ scores of those three groups, I mean of these three groups are equal or different and to answer this question we have to conduct one way ANOVA test. Before moving on to the main analysis part, we should keep in our mind that all the hypothesis tests are related with two main hypotheses. They are um, null hypothesis and the alternative hypothesis. The null hypothesis says that the group means are equal or equivalent, while the alternative hypothesis says that the group means are different or not equal. And also while conducting one way ANOVA test, you should keep in your mind that we have no idea about the type of variances among the groups in our data set. The variance types of the groups may be equal, which is actually called homogeneous variance, or the group variances may be unequal, which is actually called heterogeneous variance. So what we have to do, we just assume at first that the group variances are equal or the groups are having homogeneous variances and uh, just by assuming that homogeneous variances we run the one-way ANOVA test and if we find heterogeneous variance or unequal variances among the groups then we have to rerun the ANOVA test again I mean we have to run the ANOVA test again but with different criteria and tests let's see how we can do it at first go to analyze and then from compare means to one way ANOVA you will find all of your variables listed on the left side and we have to pass these variables um, in the middle portion I mean in the dependent list and factor the dependent variable will go to the dependent list and the independent variable will go to the factor. Here uh, our dependent variable is the IQ. So IQ is going to the dependent list box and human type is the independent variable. So it's going to the factor box. Then we have to enter the options and here we have to check the homogeneity of variance test. This test will, uh, will reveal the type of variances among the groups in our data set. I mean the whether the group variances are homogeneous or heterogeneous. 
if we find heterogeneous variance i mean unequal variance among the groups from the one way and of a test then we have to rerun the program as i have already said and during that rerun we will check brown forsyth and walsh test however for this uh, initial step we are not uh, as we have no idea about the type of variances we are just checking this variance test option however click on continue and then enter post for here and here you will find uh, two frames these two frames we have already talked about uh, these two frames are equal variances assumed and the second frame is equal variances not assumed as we have no idea about the type of variances among the groups in our data set we are currently considering the first frame which is actually equal variances assumed and here you can choose any of these tests but i'm choosing to keep then click on continue and lastly click on ok and here is our test outcome you will find variance test result in the very beginning of this test window i mean outcome window and you will find um, homogeneity of variance test result based on mean based on median based on median and adjusted degree of freedom based on trimmed mean you can choose any of these bases or uh, choose all the bases but whether you are choosing any i mean whether you are choosing only one basis or choosing all the bases the test result is the same however i'm choosing i mean i'm considering the based on median fill and here we have to uh, look at the significance fellow of the of the variance test result the rules here is that if the significance value value of the variance test result is greater than 0.05 then there is homogeneity of variances among our groups or we can say the group variances are equal otherwise if the significance value of the variance test is less than 0.05 then there is heterogeneous variance or we can say the group variances are unequal or different what we see from this table is that uh, the significance value which is actually based on median is uh, 0.006 which is actually less than 0.05 so we are having heterogeneous variance among our data set i mean among our groups so we have heterogeneous variances among our groups in the data set and uh, that means there are unequal variances among the groups in our data set and it leads us to uh, to avoid the test outcomes um, in the ANOVA and in the multiple comparisons to KHST and the homogeneous subsets in this uh, outcome window so due to getting heterogeneous variances among the groups we are going to rerun the one way ANOVA test and we have to close this window and again rerun it from analyze to compare means to um, one way and over you have already set your variables in the previous step so now just uh, enter into the options and for having heterogeneous variances from this homogeneity of variance test we are going to check mark brown foresight and walsh test then click on continue and then re-enter into the post hall. and as we have um, heterogeneous variances or unequal variances among the groups we are not considering the first frame here which says that equal variances are found. so uncheck it and uh, consider the equal variances not as here you can choose any of these tests and uh, however uh, i'm choosing the gems hollow then click on continue and lastly okay from the one way and of a dialog so here is our 
final outcome after we found our group variances are heterogeneous or different. Here we find the same homogeneity test result, I mean homogeneity of variance test result and also the same ANOVA. We have already interpreted this homogeneity of variance test, um, test table in the previous uh, previous, re previous run of the one-way ANOVA test and we found our group variances are heterogeneous. As we found heterogeneous data set, we are not again considering ANOVA. We are avoiding this table. And we have to move to the next table about robust tests of equality of means. Here you will find uh, significance value of the two more robust tests, which are called Walsh test and Brown Forsyth test. And the uh, result says that the these two tests are statistically significant because the significance value of these two tests are less than 0 0.05. And it means we can move to the next table, which is multiple comparisons based on games hollows test. And here, if we found both of the test results insignificant, that would be a limitation for our data set because in that case of insignificance, we would not um, be able to move to the next multiple comparisons table. That would be a limitation of our data set. However, as we found both of the test results are significant, we are considering a multiple comparisons table to interpret. Here you will find the mean differences, I mean mean IQs differences of, of the groups in a paired way and you will also find a statistical significance of those differences. What we see here, the mean difference uh, between women's group and children's group is 43.4. And this difference is statistically significant because the significance value is less than 0 0.05. Then the mean difference, I mean mean IQs difference between men and children is 21.4 and this difference is also statistically significant and then mean dif I mean difference of mean values of IQ scores of the, the children's group between the children's group and women's group is 43.4 which we have already interpreted in this upper portion and also the um, difference is statistically significant. Lastly, the mean difference between men and women's group is 22 and this difference is also statistically significant. So from this multiple comparisons table, we find um, the mean differences of the groups in our data set and also we find the statistical significance of those differences. What we see here, the differences among the groups in our data set are statistically significant and we can come to the conclusion that the mean values of the three groups are different and those differences are statistically significant. That means we are accept accepting the um, alternative hypothesis that says the means of the groups are different and that's the conclusion here and before ending to the video i want to say uh, about uh, two more things we should keep in our mind while conducting one way ANOVA test is that uh, this um, talk is about the robust tests of equality means. What if we find only one of these tests is significant? What would we do in that case if we find uh, only one of these two tests is significant? There are actually two groups. The first group says that Walsh test is more powerful, more robust than the brown Forsyth test. So if the Walsh test is insignificant, 
then we should not move to the multiple comparison step. The other book that says that um, if we find any of these two tests is significant, then we can move to the multiple comparison table. So these are the two opinions regarding these uh, two robust tests of Walsh test and Brown Forsyth test. Um, while you are conducting your one-way ANOVA test, uh, which group you will follow is up to you. And um, this is the end of the video. I hope uh, this video makes sense to you about one-way ANOVA test while the group variances are heterogeneous. And uh, I hope uh, if you have any question or suggestions, please feel free to write in the comment section. And lastly, thanks for watching.